All right, so Apple just launched their newest M4 MacBook Pros, and one of the big selling points is that the screens, the liquid XDR displays, they now go up to 1,000 nits in SDR if you're outside. And if you have an M1, M2, or M3 MacBook Pro, you might be looking at that and saying, oh, I want that extra brightness because mine only goes up to 500 nits on the M1 and M2 MacBook Pro and 600 nits on the M3 MacBook Pro. But here's the kicker, the hardware, the actual screens themselves are identical. The only difference here is that Apple is now allowing the MacBook Pros with the M4 series chips to go up to 1000 nits in SDR, but there's no reason that your M1, M2, or M3 MacBook Pro can't also do that. It's only a software limitation, meaning, and I'm gonna show you how in this video, you can get some third-party software that will allow you to boost your SDR brightness up to the same level as the newest M4 MacBook Pros. So if you're wanting to get your SDR brightness higher uh, and you have an older MacBook with an M1, M2, or M3, this is how you do it. The software is called Vivid, and unfortunately, it's not free. It does cost money. It costs $10, which might sound steep for some software, and I kind of think it does sound steep for some software, but if you compare that to buying a new MacBook, it's quite a bit less expensive. So, oh, and I should add, I'm not sponsored by Vivid or have any connections with them. I just think it's good software, and I happen to use it, so I thought it would be helpful to share. What this software does is basically trick the MacBook into thinking that SDR content is actually HDR content and it allows the full brightness to be used in SDR content, meaning you can get up to 1000 nits of sustained full screen brightness or 1600 nits of peak brightness on the screen. And I'm just gonna let you know right off the rip, I've been using Vivid for over a year now and it is fantastic. It makes the MacBook not only usable outdoors, I thought it was usable outdoors before, but it makes it easy to read even in broad daylight and that's something that I haven't been able to say about I think any other laptop screen that I'm aware of. 1600 nits of peak brightness is stupid bright. It is stupid bright. Now, we do have the one caveat that is if you have the screen turned up to full brightness, the full 1600 nits, it does melt your battery life. So keep that in mind. But yeah, if you were having problems viewing your MacBook screen outside and you were thinking, oh, the M4 MacBook Pro is gonna solve this for me, uh, this is how you can do it without buying a whole new laptop. It's gonna save you a lot of money. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you loved it, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.